welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and I'm so excited about today's show. Um, and I'm so ready to get going with the show. So <clears throat> just a couple of announcements before I get going. Thank you, everybody on YouTube who has said hello in the chat. If you are watching on YouTube, please say hi. I'd love to say hi back. Genevieve, Patrick, Heather. I think Mimi and Matthew are also joining us today, but haven't um, said hello yet. Um, and Jessica, I know you listen later in the day. So, hey, everybody, love you all. Um, and everybody on uh, who has called in, if you want to call in, if you have a question or you want to connect to a loved one on the other side, the number is 414-897-2868. Nine. If you have something that you would like to handle in a more private way, perhaps um, in a private session, you can contact me through my website and I'll be happy to set up a private session for you. The only way to get an appointment with me, the only way I help people is if you book an appointment with me. I don't reach out to people. I don't call people. I don't... Um, reach out on social media and tell you you need work. Um, so my website is T-O-N-I-G dot info, T-O-N-I-G dot info. Hey, Fawn, how are you? Um, I'm going to be taking callers today. When I call your area code, whew, please let me know where are you calling from and your first name and then an exact question. One exact question uh, or connection to a loved one on the other side. Okay, let's see. Did I cover everything? I want to say hi to my little brother, Stevie Oliva. I hope you're having a great day, buddy. Um, he is such a character and most of you who listen all the time I've already um, stated a little bit about Stephen. If you want to follow Stevie, uh, he is on TikTok. And if you go to my TikTok, you can find him. But I can't remember his exact TikTok thing. But he mostly dances on it. It's hilarious. And I love him so much. Okie dokie. Uh, I, think, I think I'm ready to get started. We're going to start with a clearing. Thank you, Heather. We're going to start with a clearing. Um, you know, it's been, the energy has been a little heavy and everybody's been super tired and drained. And I was just joking with Heather on um, YouTube that I feel like my naps need a nap, <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> so let's do a, um, let's call it motivation. We are motivated. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Um, we are very, uh, I hear the word lethargic and I get a yes. So I'm going to clear, we're going to clear that. Not me personally, the angels come in and do that. And then I always um, love to do a love clearing. We are, okay. Yep. We love ourselves unconditionally and I get a no. So let's clear that. So all of those clearings start around the three minute mark of the show. If you want to go back and listen, re-listen to them, go right ahead. You should feel or experience something. Excuse me. It won't, it should not be that. It might be, I don't know. Um, energy moves in strange ways. Um, it, it, you may feel anything from, let's just say, um, you could feel uh, pressure, cool, heat, um, anything at all, or nothing. And just if you don't feel anything, it doesn't mean it's not working. Oh, okay. Um, thank you, Genevieve. <laughs> um <clears throat> I am going to take our first caller now, and the first caller is 256. 256, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, this is Kimberly, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Kimberly. I love Georgia. Georgia's, Georgia's just nice. I really like Georgia. 
<clears throat> How can I help you, Kimberly? What's your question or connection for the day? So my, my question is about um, actually romance. Like, um, like when will that come in to be or what do I need to do? Okay. So the first thing I hear is June. So I feel like you have the potential to meet somebody in June. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, this is, this is a gentleman. Um, the first, the first thing I hear is gentlemen. I see somebody who's a little bit more soft spoken. I'm hearing that he is going to, um, the statement I'm hearing, and I hope you laugh at the way I'm about to say this. He's not with the game. He's not with the game. <laughs> That's what they keep saying. He's just, he's just not with the game. Uh, I think that means he just doesn't play games. He's looking for something a little bit more structured is the word they're using. Um, he is going to be somebody who is so softer spoken, a little bit. He's going to be kind, kinder kinder in comparison to what kinder than what like I, seriously what does that kinder maybe kinder than the past people that you have um dated or been with he's he, but he is soft spoken and he's more structured um i am going to say that he probably doesn't like things to be sprung on him or plans to change last minute. He puts a lot of work and effort into a lot of things that he does. So he does want everything to kind of go as planned. Who doesn't? Opportunity to have a longer term relationship with him. It's not going to be, you know, um, a, a quick relationship. Okay. And I, and thank you okay. so, so much for calling in and asking this. And the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a healing, um, anything stopping or blocking us from healthy love partnership has been cleared. I get a no. So I'm going to clear this now for everybody listening, re-listening where we are going to do a clearing, uh, watching, re-watching. And I want to hear back from you to see um, uh, uh, when you meet this gentleman, okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in today. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the okay. next caller. And the next caller is 415. If I'm on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone. And 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you today? Well, I'm okay. Uh, but last week, I went to take two big gold rings to get appraised, and they were gone. And I'm doing all the insurance work, but I was wondering if you got any um, more deep information of who took them, when, where. Okay, I feel like, okay, so my phone is doing the moving thing again, folks. It was just fine. That's so funny to me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you, the first thing I hear is, um, well, I'm hearing two things. Um, yeah, they were taken. I'm, I'm trying to come up with like, were they, they lost it? Did this happen? Nope, nope, nope. I feel like they're in a box. Right. They are in a box. They're still in the same box, but they're, um, uh, they might still be at the last place you lived. Um, I would um, in a in a dresser drawer. I feel like they're in a box in a dresser drawer. Whatever that means, in a drawer, in a drawer. I they're in a box in a drawer is what I'm gonna say. Um, and I would, that uh, is as exact they, as I can probably get for you, love. Sure. I, I, happen go ahead. I'm sorry. After February 1st, 
can you see did it happen in my new location, my new apartment? Hmm. I'm I'm not sure sh where she is now. Um I actually I don't want to even answer this, but I am okay. So remember, time is fluid, yada yada. I am right. hearing a yes right. on that. And what I would do, you know, if you mm -hmm. think if you think this is where you are now, I, I you know what, change the locks. Just change. I'm leaving. It. It's a, I, I did. I'm. Yeah, I all the locks are changed, and I I'll be moving again. So yes, to Austin. It's, it's always, <laughs> yeah. Okay, sweetie. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry that that happened. I hope that you do find them. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, even though insurance can come through, typically things like that hold more value than what insurance can. Oh, can, oh I learned that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I hope I that you that, do Kate. find them. Thank you so much for calling in, Kate. I'm going to go okay. directly to the next caller who is um, 405, 405, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Natalie. I'm calling from Oklahoma City. Hey, Natalie, how can I help you today? Hi, I was wanting to know if the current relationship I'm in, if there's going to be a future, like marriage, kids, or should I move on from this person? Okay, Natalie, give me a second here. Ooh. Uh. Um, so when I ask, so I'm asking a series of questions right now. I'm trying to tap into, I'm already into your energy. <clears throat> the guy you're with is a bit secretive. I don't want to say secretive. It's just not oh. easy to get into his energy. So he is, <clears throat> he is, um, I want to say it's probably <clears throat> just, it's going to take me a second to get into his energy. So let me, what's his, just his first name, love? Eric. Eric. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you about you and Eric. Um, you guys have some things you still, um, and I know, you know what, if somebody told me this, I know what my next action would be. I know how, how I would be, be uh, responding. Um, what I'm going to say to you is this situation is still up in the air, okay? And mm -hmm. here's, and this is weird because usually I get a yes, a no, it's going to be this long or that long. But this situation for the two of you is still up in the air. Somebody in the, somebody in this situation needs to make a choice. And the cho it isn't a choice. I'm not going to say it's a choice between you and someone else. It can simply be a choice of, am I ready to settle down? Am I ready to commit? Am I ready to take that next step? Um, am I ready to, you know, move forward or let this progress? Um, I feel like there was a hiccup or a problem in this relationship a little earlier on. There was a complication, and I'm going to tell you, it may not have been even a complication that you personally were aware of. It may have been something okay. that came up on this person's end, maybe with family or friends or whatever it is, right? An ex whatever it is. And a complication with an ex doesn't mean he, he like went back or anything like that. It, it can just mean there was a complication and it, it kind of made things a little sticky. 
and not necessarily this complication didn't have to have anything to do with you. Okay. This complication could have just been something completely removed from you that slowed the process down and slowed down what he thinks he wants. Okay. Um, I am going to tell you, he is deciding he's figuring he's, he, this is the way they're saying it. He's figuring out now what he wants. Now, don't, don't do that girl thing. I'm going to be the perfect girl and I'm going to make sure I go out of my way to show him how good I can be. That's not the girl that gets picked, Chica. That is not the girl that gets picked. The girl that gets picked is the one that like holds strong to her boundaries and is healthy. It's not always how much we accommodate them. They're not looking for a mama. They already got one. Um, they're looking for, you know, the way men look at a relationship and the way women look at a relationship. They want someone they can respect and they can um, have a good partnership with. What I'm hearing here is just continue talking about marriage more. What I'm hearing here is continue to be you, continue to be you. He is in the deciding processes. He's, he is, uh, and if somebody talks about marriage, and I, how do I say, if someone talks about marriage, it doesn't mean they're there. Sometimes we can bring it up and then they'll have the conversation. He's in the deciding processes, but let him get there on his own. Let him get to that point. And, he, you know, as, as women, we're always, especially when we're at a certain point in our life, we want to kind of seal the deal or be there or know this is the one. Right. That, OK, I'm, I'm in this relationship. I'm doing this. Or da, da, da. Where is this going? I want it to move to the next step. And we sometimes have to back off a little bit, not for them, but for us. We have to back off a little bit, look at everything and make sure this is the right situation A for us. And not and not that you're pushing him. I'm not saying that you're pushing him at all, but allow it to unfold naturally. Whew, okay, all of that to get to that. Oh my goodness. Um, allow it to unfold naturally. <laughs> allow yourself to get to that place naturally. Um, take all the pressure off. Don't bring it up. Just allow yourself and him to get to this point naturally. And you know, one thing that they're showing me, and I want to crack up laughing because you guys, when I'm, when I'm talking to you, I have like a million different little scenes going through my head. So one of the scenes that they're showing me while I'm talking to you is, do you know how when you get a puppy and you, you're trying to pick up the puppy and the puppy just runs and runs and runs because it thinks you want to play. And then when you walk away from the puppy, it starts chasing you. <laughs> Um, it's kind of like when we're chasing the puppy, it's going to run. <laughs> when we're trying to pin down the puppy, it's going to run. <laughs> but when we, you know, stand our ground, the puppy's going to come and sit at our feet. When we start to walk away, the puppy is going to follow us. <laughs> and, um, and we don't want to be... <laughs> We don't want to be chasing any puppies, do we? We want that full-grown, trained, you know. <laughs> All I'm saying is this is what they're showing me. I hope that that makes sense to you. But there's a reason they're showing it to me. So I really, really hope it makes sense to you. I hope you um, you can you can take that analogy and you can go, oh, my gosh, Yeah. And nine times out of 10, when we stop, when we just stop and hold our ground and we don't say anything, that puppy will come right to our feet and sit at our feet and be like, come on, come on, 
come on, let's play, wagging its little tail, you know, like, wait, what? why did you stop chasing me? Why did you stop asking about this? You know, everybody, um, everybody has um, male, female, it doesn't matter the age, everybody uh, wants to be in the position of, of course, being, being fond and chased. Um, but sometimes we have to like take a breath and hold, hold our position, knowing who we are also. I don't know why they're telling me this for you, but it is what they're saying. I do feel like you two have, the, I know that you want to know what the outcome is going to be. That depends on the next four months. Now, the next four months are going to determine what way this is going to go. And I know right now you think that's up to him. Right? Right now you think it's up to him. Like, is he uh, going to ask? Are we going <laughs> to move forward? But here's what I'm going to tell you. Sometimes us, especially us women, when we're in a relationship, we're so busy trying to let me just use the term nail down the relationship that we don't look at what we're getting in the relationship with. We don't, we're working on the next step because that's natural. That's just natural for a woman. It doesn't make us crazy. It doesn't make us, and that's just natural. It's, it's, I think it's genetic. Like we're like, okay, where's the stability? Where's the security? Where is this going? But if we were to stop and really look at who is this person? What are they really bringing to the table? What what do we, you know, where where can this be? Um, and do I want do I want to wake up with this for the next 20, 30, 40 years? Um, it gives us that opportunity to have a really good sense or a, a sense of leverage or where we want to be or if this is the real deal or not. Okay. Um I was I was I was on the phone with a friend last night and we had the greatest conversation and I must have said like four times I wish I, I wish we were on air right now. I wish we were on air and everybody could hear this conversation because it was about relationships and about the way relationships unfold in today's world and about that, a lot about what's out there. And I was telling her, listen, you hold it down on your own. You pay all your bills, you have a full-blown career, and you provide everything you need and then some, okay? This is everything you bring to the table. If somebody is coming to sit at your table, they had better bring more than what you have. They had better bring, you know, you're a full-grown woman, they had better be a full-grown man, they, they had better be ready for what you're ready for. And I, I told her, and I've said this on my show so many times, and I will, I will say this until my last breath. We are looking for a partner, like a business partner, because we are in the business of ourselves. We're in the business of making our life the best life it can be. So if we're bringing somebody into our life, they had better be a good business partner. And if they're not a good business partner, if you would not give this person, you know, the keys to, to your business, if you would not give this person the code to your bank accounts, if you would not give this person a debit card for your business and trust that they were going to do everything to make your business grow and your partnership grow, then you don't belong. This person doesn't belong with you. They're not good enough for you. They're, they're for somebody else. It doesn't make them a bad person. They're just not your person. If you're going into business with somebody and a relationship, make no mistake, it is a business. It is a full on business partnership. And it is, it is, it takes as much work as any business that you own, even after the marriage, even after the, especially after children, after every, at, at 50 years, you should be working just as hard as you did at one year. And it gets more difficult at 50 years because 
everything has been done and said, and you're not as young and pretty and vibrant as you used to be. So it, it, you know, you have to keep be willing that this is the person I'm going to put in a good 20, 30, 40, 50, depending on your age, 50 years with, and still want to wake up with them and still want to take trips with them and still want to fight with, you know, fight with them for the good fight for our success and survival in this relationship. And if this isn't the person you need to let them go find their person and your person will sit down at your table in a relationship, in a business partnership. And again, make no mistake, that is exactly what it is. It's a business partnership. Do you trust this person to be loyal to your business? Are they showing up with everything they need and everything you need? Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, if that is not the case, this is not the person. And it's time to move on. Now, I am going to tell you, sweet, beautiful girl, thank you for listening to all of that. I'm going to say to you, I do believe that if there's a decision to jump out of this relationship, you're going to jump out because you're not going to want to wait any longer. You're not going to let somebody take too much this time deciding your value any longer. Because you already know who you are. You know what you bring to the table. And women minimize what they bring to the table, right? We minimize it. And we think, will there be another guy that's good? Will there be another guy that I feel this way about? You know what? There will. Think about the progression of our relationships. There will be another man. And you will feel good about him. And there will be chemistry. And you know what? When we learn that lesson, when we move up, the next man might be even better than this one. You just have to take that chance if this is not the right man. I'm not saying your man is not the right man. I'm saying the man that you're with right now, you're going to be the one to decide where this goes. Now, I don't think any woman should be, and and trust me, I I, I have asked a guy a question of where is this going but I also have the strong belief that if you have to ask, that's the problem. Because if you have to ask, they're not making you feel that way. They're not letting you know who you are in their world and what they want with you. And if they cannot let you know that, they're not going to show you that. And so if we're asking where is this going? Are we going to get married? Is there a future? There's something inside of us that's that that is the red flag. And we need to decide, regardless of their answer, we need to give ourselves those timelines, we need to give ourselves those things that say, listen, this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to do to get what I want. Because if we settle, if we stay in that situation, over and over and over again, we are disappointed and we are sad and we don't want to be in that place where we are disappointed and we are sad. We want to be in the place where we are in a situation where someone is growing with us. They are showing us they want us every single day. And that is not a difficult thing to do because believe me, we do it for them. We do it for them. They should be doing it for us without us saying anything, without us asking anything. That should be how they are showing up continually. Having said that, and I know, yes, I do. I know that this probably was not what you expected to hear, but I hope it was helpful.